everybody. We're here today to do a reaction slash what I prefer to call it an as it happens review of the latest video from Lisa La Douceur. Hope I'm saying it correctly. The lady who brought us 40 years of goth fashion and 40 years of men's goth fashion. She has now done 40 years of goth shoes. So I just brought out my shoe collection video. I thought the timing was freakishly good. And if you watch that, you'll realize that I fucking love shoes. I do. I, I love, I love shoes. I love fashion. Obviously, that's why I do fashion vlogging, blah. From the moment this video was released, lots of you guys are writing to me saying, oh my god, please do a reaction to this video. So, guess I'm going to have to. I haven't seen it yet. I've been saving up the moment to watch this with you. Whatever your thoughts are on the video, I urge you to also go to Lisa's channel, which I will link below to the original video, where you can give her some love and tell her how you thought she did. I think the last video she did, uh, which was men's goth fashion, I thought that was pretty good with maybe just one questionable <laughs> decision. I don't know. I'm looking forward to seeing what this might involve. Lisa La Douceur is also known for her book The Encyclopedia Gothica, which I have not yet read but hopefully will do someday. If I do, I'll do a review of it for you because it's been a fucking long time since I've done a book review. Okay, where are we? 40 years goth shoes. Let's watch it together! As it happens, review. I like the thumbnail. There's a pair of pikes in the thumbnail. Let's watch. Mm. Oh, shoes. Ah. Oh. She always puts kind of cool music in the videos. So this would be the 80s, right? Or the 70s? 1980s, yes. Yeah, pikes. Doc Martens. Gotta be Doc Martens. I like how she's done not just one style for each period, I guess. Oh, flat pikes, bam, yes. New Rocks. 1990s. Yep, accurate. Yeah, I like how it seems that she's not just doing one style per period. <laughs> Women's New Rocks. The sexier versions. Those are awesome! Are those Phantasma? I fucking need those. Demonias. Yeah, this is the 90s. Oh, those are cool. Where can I get some? Bam. Those are beautiful. And weird. Yeah, I guess the 90s is all about a lot of platform shit. 90s and 2000. I guess the 90s and 2000s platform platform boats and Doc Martens. Oh, those are awesome. Oh god. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> those fluffy things, man. Ah, Lolita. Lolita shoes. TK shoes for little tea cats. Demonia stacks. Mmm, I feel like this is pretty good so far. 2000s. But these ones? 2010s, yes. Yep. These things with the spikes on the back, mad popular in the last decade. I hope um, there's going to be more pikes towards the end because they really are, I've noticed, making a comeback. <laughs> yep, bat wings on everything now. Oh yeah, not bad. That was a nice little video. I don't think there's really anything I would do different if I was going to make it myself. The thing about goth fashion seems to be that when something's popular, it doesn't sort of ever stop being popular. There'll be like a certain style of a thing that will have like its heyday and but people will still like them and still wear them and stuff like if you saw like the men's goth fashion one for example there was like you know the 90s guy like the 90s vampire looking guy people still dress like that now 
Like that that's like things will come into fashion at a certain time, but they don't really sort of go out of fashion. That's something that's really cool about goth fashion, I think, is that you can really incorporate stuff from pretty much any period in history and no one will think it's weird. If I was gonna make that video myself, like I said, I would probably have put pikes in again at the end. I don't know, but they really do seem to be making a comeback and I'm gonna take this opportunity to mention the Gothic Shoe Company as being the best place to get pikes from. I know I talk about them a lot, they haven't asked me to or something, just I and loads of my friends have shoes from there and we love them and the people who make them are really nice and they really work hard to make the best shoes they possibly can. So just taking a moment to throw that in there. It used to be that pikes were so fucking hard to find. Like for years and years and years I was trying to find a nice pair of pikes and they just didn't seem to exist but now they're a lot easier to get. So I, I would say that maybe pikes can also come back in the 2010s. I like that she included a very recent pair of demonia shoes, these little like cage holographic shoes. Yeah, <laughs> uh, there certainly are a lot of holographic shoes fashionable at the moment. Uh, you might have seen I even have a pair of holographic shoes. Why did I buy those? They're not really gothic, they're just kind of fascinating. I'm not sure about the pink pair of shoes that was in there. I mean, I guess it's kind of in the same category with the holographic ones, but that, that's getting into the kind of uh, kawaii sort of pastel branch. But yeah, in the end, my thoughts on that video was that, as usual, she's done her research and put plenty of work into it, and yeah, I'd say that the, the time zones are pretty spot on. It also kind of makes me think about how our footwear fashion hasn't really changed that much. <laughs> People are still rocking around in Doc Martens and pointy shoes. And I don't really see any granny boots. I feel that Victorian influence is a really big thing in goth fashion and I feel like maybe some granny boots would have really fit in there nicely. I've had a few pairs of granny boots in my time. But if that video has had any effect on me, it's that I need more pikes, but I have to save up for some, which means I have to wait, and that makes me sad. So please do let us know in the comments what you thought. Did you think that video was accurate? Is there anything that was missed out? What were your favorite pair of shoes? What are your favorite kinds of shoes? Of all the shoes that she showed in here, some of them were really cool. These ones here, fucking where did those come from? Damn. So yeah, I have linked below to Lisa's original video so that you can go watch it for yourself and give her some love and some opinions. And I've also linked below to where you can find her book, Encyclopedia Gothica. I would just like to say thank you to Lisa for making another great video about goth fashion. You can always do with more of those. And thank you very much for watching and joining me on my bed. Welcome to In Bed with It's Black Friday. There is a show that will never exist. If you have not already done so, please hit the red button below and subscribe to my lovely spooky channel. And as always, take care of yourselves, be nice to each other, and I will see you next time. Bye!